hopefully this is the uh, last snow in this area. Hi guys, my name is Zin and this is the Maybe Bonsai. Uh, in the last couple of days, uh, it has been pretty cold. Um, the temperature has been at a low of zero or a little bit under. So I had to cover up all my trees in the, uh, in the ground, even though they're in the ground, but some of them are just starting to sprout. And um, so I had to cover them. I, I, you know, it was minus one to two degrees for hours. So I, I didn't want to take the chance of, uh, you know, kind of leaving them uncovered. Uh, so I'm not sure how that worked. I, <laughs> I don't have a greenhouse, so I just covered it with whatever I can find. Now, I haven't touched these ever since. Uh, the last few days so but the, the temperature is going to go up now so i'm going to remove all these and uh we'll see how, how we did here uh hopefully everything is okay so i'm just going to remove these bins okay so each one of these are i covered with a plastic uh, bag or you know there's like containers um, except for the uh, a couple of na uh, native trees, which I've, I was sure that they were okay. So we'll just take these out. And uh, we'll see how these, how these are. So that's a Japanese maple. This is a one-year-old seedling that I, uh, I got last year. And I was worried about this the most. So it seems okay. The leaves are... Yeah, they're fine. So that's good. I think that was the uh, this last few days is the last cold, uh, quite cool days that we have. There are usually a few of these in uh, in April, and it snowed a bit as well. So this is the other Japanese maple. This was the air layer from last year. Uh, I wasn't too worried about this because it was uh, not a small small tree, right? So. So I'm just going to remove all these and I'll show you the result. All right, so I removed all the covers. Um, it seems everything was okay. Uh, everything's looking good, actually. I mean, this is a bit uh, compressed, but that'll perk up once uh, they once they start growing more. So I think so. That was a big uh, success. Everything uh, everything is alive and looking good. Um, in April, it's the, the weather in Canada, in the uh, southern Ontario, is usually very unstable, and uh, depending on where you live, you should have a month or so of the same kind of weather. And it's very important to protect your trees when the, the, the temperature goes uh, below zero, especially once they leafed out. I, I hear a lot of people lose their trees uh, because of it, and because they didn't, like, you know, the, the, temp the temperature was fluctuating a lot. And the trees basically just can't survive. So I think this is good. I um, mean, the forecast coming out there, it's all plus, you know, five or six as a low, uh, with the exception of one night, which I, I might cover this back up. Um, we'll see. The only thing I'm a little bit worried is this. I don't know if this is still alive because there hasn't been any green stuff coming out. And the buzz, I mean, the. They look black, uh, which I think it's dead. But I'll leave this for, you know, until the, the weather gets warmer. And uh, if if nothing comes out of it, then I'll just, I'll remove it, it's fine. I just, this, this is a collected tree. Um, I'm not so attached to it yet. <laughs> so yeah, but everything else seems good. So yeah, so always cover your trees when the weather gets kind of cold, especially in this, uh, a month like now it's saturday today and uh it's a nice about 15 degrees today uh, i mean t-shirts and it feels fine i brought out all my maples all my japanese maples and uh the willow you know everything is still good i put these in the garage during the uh the cold front um I think the leaves are kind of a uh, i don't know they're kind of dark i'm not sure what that is um but yeah, I don't know. Maybe you need some water, I don't know. No, well, that looks fine. Anyway, I think it should be okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it out now. I think the weather from now on, it doesn't go into the minus. Um, but I think in the next couple of days, one of the days is the low of zero. 
which I think the trees will be okay. Um, you know, as you can see, everything is leafing out. Uh, this is the uh, lacy leaves, so everything's looking good. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's it's important to protect your trees when uh, you're in April. Uh, everything here is good. Nothing died, so that the leaves perked up after I took out the covers. So that's pretty good. I'm happy that everything is alive. Um, this is a new plant that I got. It's a dwarf burning le uh, burning bush. It's a shrub, and it has nice fall colors. And I'm thinking of pruning this back. Um, you know, there's a couple of good branches I can keep to make it a, a some <laughs> to get some movement in the uh, in the trunk. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good thing for bonsai or not, but I already bought it and I'm going to try it anyway. It, I just think it looks nice with the small leaves and the uh, the fall color. So, okay, doc. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this inside later on and prune it, and uh, hopefully it turns out well. So I know I said I was gonna prune this inside, but I'm gonna do it outside because it's nice weather. So we'll, we'll do that right now and. Uh, yeah, we'll see how see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna try to film and just roughly prune this uh, down uh, a lot. So let's take a look here. I think I looked at this before, and what I wanted was uh, taking this whole branch off and using this using this one as the main trunk and then I'm going to take cut off here so you get this this kind of a kind of a move, uh, movement on the trunk um, which I think it'll work it's not too thick you got nice taper as well um, I'm not sure if this can be turned into a bonsai or not because this thing is like growing straight up the, the bark or the it's a bit uh, strange it's like it's got this line here um, that's uh, that's like a fin almost, and then you get this on the x on this axis, and then directly perpendicular to this one, it goes the other side. So it's kind of strange. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but um, you know we'll prune it and uh, see how it goes. So I'm going to take this whole thing off. This is pretty much half of the uh, plant. Oh. oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. And then I'll take that off. I'm trying to put this to the side. So now you got this trunk with a bit of a movement, and. Um, I think I would have to prune this back at the top, really pretty much taking off the entire top and uh, let the branches over here develop. Um, I'll leave this on as a sacrificial branch for now and then there's some other branches on this side which I'm going to take off. So we'll do that first. Okay, get rid of those. And then I'm not sure what this is, it's like a sucker or something. Get that, get rid of that. And then there's a branch coming from the bottom. I'm gonna try to just get rid of. Oh, there that goes. And the top. I'm thinking of taking this whole thing off right there. So we're left with this as the new leader. Now there's no growth at the bottom and I'm not sure if this will back, back bottle or not, um, but I think that's my only choice or it's the only choice that I'm happy with, I should say. 
So let me see if I can. Okay, I'm just trying to fix this. I'm gonna get. I'll get rid of this. They're, they're on the same uh, same level, so. So the bonsai tooth that I watered that's coming from China is on its way, but it's being shipped uh, literally by a ship, so it's going to take forever to get here. Um, it could be the end of the summer before I get it, so, you know. But I mean, this, you know what, actually pruning, after pruning, this actually looks kind of good. It doesn't look that bad at all. So, um, I'm going to take this back. All the way to here, and you know it's kind of bare, so hopefully it'll back bud. It's either gonna back bud or it's gonna be a waste at the top. Um, but it's a chance I'm gonna take, so we'll take that back all the way here. This it's a sacrificial branch, but it's it's really big. So hopefully it doesn't draw too much vigor from the tree. Yeah, I'll leave that for now. I haven't really checked the roots. But uh, I guess we'll have to do that later on, ne uh, next time. Um, right now I'm not going to worry about it. And this branch I think eventually you'll have to go. But for now, I'll leave it there. And then once I get my tools, I can fix this, uh, fix up these joints. Actually, I'm gonna just take this back. I don't want this to, doesn't look, looks kind of funny. Okay, so I'll leave the rest. This will eventually get taken off. So we're left with this, which I think is a good start. If uh, you know, if things turns out well, <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. So that's fine. I'll leave it like that. Uh, what else? I think everything is doing good. Um, all the maple seems fine. I actually took one in just uh, just now because that one is the one that I showed. The leaves was uh, kind of turning kind of half blackish. I think. That one's not so hardy. Maybe the temperature is too low, and that's why it's getting uh, getting like that. So I took that in, and then everything here. That's the amber maple. That's coming out really well. I'm gonna leave this to grow the whole year, and then next spring I'll cut it back again to get more taper on the trunk, and then uh, maybe the year after that I might keep the branches. But we'll see. You know, there's there might be good branches that I can keep from this year. So yeah, this is the trident maple, which I'm going to air layer next month once it uh, once all the leaves flushes out and the, the weather gets a bit warmer. So yeah, everything looks good. Um, we're we're very close to we're very close to getting to the uh, getting out of spring. We're into the warmer weather of the spring, so it's it's important to protect the trees right now, so that you know we can. Uh, Kind of go full summer later on uh this is like the last you know the, the last and just before the end of the race uh, for overwintering so you know we're almost there um just one last thing this is the cherry tree that we had and uh, it's coming to flower now the cherries or cherry blossoms or any other just a whole bunch of other different varieties that flowers now the, then uh, around this time of the year in april around may and then these will this tree will actually uh fruit but the birds eat them all so I, we don't actually we had this tree for years now and never once have we been able to get any cherries because of the uh you got squirrels and birds they just they just destroyed everything <laughs> anyways that's all for this week guys uh thanks for watching